All right, hello boys and girls. Uh, my name is John Meter from Northern Stars Planetarium and I'm working with Waterville Creates today because we've put together an art kit so you guys can make a mosaic, which is where you use little tiles to make pictures. And we're gonna do a space theme today. So this is what the kit looks like. And you can get one of these free at the Alphonse Center. And uh, let's see what's inside. First there's a bunch of paper and it starts off with some solar system information so you can find out which planet's bigger and which one's smaller and which one's hotter and which one's colder and how many moons they have. Two pages on that, the cool pictures. Then we have a, a night sky chart so you can find constellations if you go outside this winter. On the other side, a map of the moon. You know all those big spots on the moon? You can actually find out what they are. That's kind of cool. And this is your galactic address. Now you probably live on, you know, such and such a street here in Waterville or Winslow or Fairfield. Well, you can start there, but you can all go right down to the fact that you live in Maine, and you live in the United States and North America, and on the planet Earth and in the solar system and all the way up to the Milky Way galaxy. So you can get your whole address on here. And on the back, it gives you some helpful information. And this is the part we need most. This is the instructions for our kit today. So let's see what's in the kit, and then we can look at the instructions afterwards to find out how to make the mosaic. So we've got a piece of mat board. Okay, we'll figure out what that's for a little bit later. And a pencil, you know what that's for. Uh-oh, it's, it's kind of dull, isn't it? I hope there's a sharpener in here. Then we've got a tube of glue and some grout. Yeah, you'll find out what grout's all about in a few minutes. It's messy, but it's cool stuff. And another bag of grout. And some gloves, because it's messy, as I said, so we're going to wear gloves. <laughs> There's our pencil sharpener. A spoon. Don't eat the grout. It's for spreading the grout. And then we have all these pieces of tile. You know the jingly? They're not glass, they're pottery, and they're broken pieces, so sometimes they're a little sharp, so you have to be careful with them. Some of them are sharp edges, but you'll see some have yellow, and some have blue, and some have white. They're all different colors, and you're gonna use these to make the mosaic. So just be careful with them, because we don't want you getting cut, but you can make some really cool pictures. So I wanna do Orion the Hunter, my favorite constellation. So we're gonna draw it first. And we'll start with three stars in a row, because that's his belt. So there's Orion's belt. Give him a leg to stand on. That would be a star named Rigel. This is a star named Safe. And then we'll come up here and give him a shoulder, a star named Beetlejuice. And the other shoulder is named Bellatrix. Oops, I think it should go over here a little more. Cross that one out. We're gonna cover it up anyway. So he's got a sword, so let's put a couple pieces down here for his sword. And a head right here, something like in there. And an arm up here, and an arm over here, like that. Let's see what we can do. Let's do his belt first, which are three white stars. So we need to find three white pieces. And they're not going to be circles like stars really are. They're going to be kind of irregular shapes, so we're gonna pretend that the irregular shape is the fact that it's twinkling, because stars twinkle. And the twinkling's caused by the air, but it makes them pretty when they twinkle, so let's start with one right in the middle, like that. A little dab of glue on the back side. There's our first. So now we have Orion's belt, mm -hmm. cool. and we gotta give him some feet, so let's do, uh, ooh, it's hard to pick, you know. You're gonna find that, you try it too. So we're gonna put a little glue. Come on, glue. We could do this here so you can see what it like. Yeah, I'm covering up the colory parts because the stars I want just to be white, at least this one. So this is gonna be the star, and its name is Safe. Do you spell it like Safe? No, you spell it S-A-I-P-H, I believe. Whoa. And so this one is a star named Rigel, and that's a blue star, so let's use a blue one for that. Cool. And how about this one right here? So we've got the glue on the back. And Rigel is a really powerful star. If you put Rigel next to the sun, it would be about 40 or 50,000 times brighter than the sun. And it's blue, and that actually means that it's really hot. 
So now we're going to come up to his shoulder way up here, and that's Betelgeuse. And Betelgeuse is a reddish orange star, and I happen to have a nice orange tile here. So let's put a little glue on it. And we're going to put that one right there. There's Betelgeuse. Part of it is you have to use the pieces you have. So you may not find a perfect piece, so you do the best you can. Lots of things in life are like that. So here's Orion's head. And that's going to be his sword. Now there's actually, if you looked with a telescope in his sword, there's a nebula, which is kind of pinkish colored. So I'm going to add, I happen to have a little pink one here. You might not have a pink one, that's okay. But I do, so I'm gonna put the nebula in too because I like stuff like that. We'll put that right there, like that. There. So there's our Orion, for better or worse. I think it's kinda cool. All right, so we our pieces are glued in place. They all feel pretty solid. I've got my gloves on so I can protect my hands because this grout is kind of hard on your hands. And you really want to do this someplace where you can not have someone mad at you because you make a mess because it's kind of messy. So you might want to put newspaper or something down underneath this before you start spreading the grout around. So here's our grout and it's kind of thick. So I'm going to cut the corner off. You might have to get mom or someone to help you if you don't have a pair of scissors to cut the corner off. Oops. We don't want that in there. This is the messy part, but the messy part's the fun parts. So I'm gonna squeeze this out. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Yum. It's not edible, don't eat it. <laughs> Just because we gave you a spoon does not mean it's for lunch, okay? Spread it around. Don't worry if you get it on the tiles because we're going to clean those up afterwards. Try not to bury them too deep, but it is messy. Shall we spread a little bit? Mm. Let's see how it spreads. Take the spoon. I like to put my finger down in there so I can kind of work it. And you want to work it right in around all the, all the pieces of tile. If you can keep a little bit of them showing, it helps. So we've got it pretty well covered. We started off with some that was a little dry. I don't know if you can add moisture to it or not, but the second one was much smoother. And you just want to spread it around. And with your gloved hands, you can sometimes use your fingers and uh, get it right in next to those tiles because that'll help hold them in place well. And we don't worry so much if you get a little, see like I got some on top of that star right there, and that's Mintaka. Um, because we're going to clean those up after it dries just a little bit. It's nice to have them uncovered enough so you can find them, so you know where they are. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got one up here that's kind of hiding. Let's see if we can dig it out so we don't miss it. Right in there. Once it dries, it cleans up a little easier. So we're going to let that dry. And you can see it's kind of goopy. It's hard to see Orion there, but we will bring him back out in a few minutes. All right, so it's dried a little bit, and it's kind of messy, so we're going to try to clean it up. So we've got a sponge. And we're going to dip it in some water and see what we can do. Let's start with his belt here. See if we can dab it just a little bit. See, it starts to show up. This one's covered a little more. Let's squeeze some of that out. Part of making art is you decide what you want and you get some of that and you get some things you don't anticipate too. And that's kind of the magic is that it turns into its own thing. 
So don't be disappointed when it doesn't come out exactly the way you thought it might, because it might come out even better. Or not. Oops, see? Starting to show up there a little bit. So there we are. That's Orion and his twinkly stars. One's not quite as bright, but you know stars are sometimes not as bright as others. So remember for Orion, we've got Betelgeuse, the red star, and Rigel, the blue one, and Orion's belt, and the nebula and the sword right there. Yay! Cool! Cool!